Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the module 4 of uh, Java and this video is sufficient for you to score more than 80% marks. Don't miss any of these questions, these are all from the previous year in the module question papers. And before starting, please like and subscribe, it helps me make more just like this. Without wasting any time, let's get started. The first question is define exception. Okay, define exception is a very important question. Explain the exception handling with mechanism and an example. Okay, we will be discussing all these key points which you need to write in an exam. Okay, what is an exception? It is an unwanted or unexpected event. Okay, what is exception? What you don't want to happen, if that happens, that is an exception okay that occurs during the execution of program always exception will happen when a uh, program is running okay examples are dividing by zero that is not possible that's an exception accessing invalid index in an array or attempting to open a non-existent file if a file is not there you are trying to open that is called as what exception okay how do you handle it there, there are some ways okay there are uh, mainly four ways you can use a try catch block and a finally block and throw and throws exception try catch means try something if it does not work catch it and print some message okay try something if it does not work catch it and print a message i'll be showing the code as well for this finally means even if try catch uh, works or not works finally means it will always print uh, at the end whatever you define inside final block that will always execute okay whether an exception happened or not it will execute throws exception means it will throw the uh, details of what exception has happened and uh, which line has code uh, which line of code has uh, thrown an error so uh, we'll see an example for this one so a class is defined exception handling example and uh, main function is defined here and a result we are trying to store as uh, 10 by 0 and it's inside a try block okay? this is inside a try block in try block we are storing result as 10 by 0 and printing the result if there is an exception arithmetic exception e we are catching it and we are printing division is not allowed by 0 okay what we are doing we are catching if there is an arithmetic exception e and we are printing error division by 0 is not allowed and whether this has happened or not finally it will print execution of program is complete even if the uh, program was uh, not executed properly or it was executed properly its task is over to try this and catch it okay so the program execution is complete that will be printed finally got the point what is the difference between try catch and finally so this is the uh, output here okay Moving on to the second supplement question, we have defined package. What is a package and how are steps involved in creating a user defined package? You can create your own package. How do you do that with an example and how to import a package which is already defined in Java? What is a package? Package is nothing but a package. Okay, in package, you'll have ch chips, your uh, toys, and mobile and everything, right? That is called as a package. Okay, your normal package. In Java, what will happen? It will have classes, interfaces, and sub packages. It helps in the conflict control access and uh, managing large pro uh, projects. Okay, so the steps to define a def define a user defined package okay package keyword needs to be used and you have to compile it using java c and you have to import it using the import three steps are there very simple ones let's see an example so you'll be creating a package okay your package name is my package domain demo dot java so first you need to write package my package first step second is define a class whatever should be inside that package and a function is defined display message and it's printing hello from my package demo now this package will have this class and this function defined okay so whenever we compile this uh, 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 package and when we use it in some other file called as test package java this is another file inside that file i am importing my package dot my package demo inside this my package demo is getting uh, imported my package demo is what my package demo is nothing but it is a class which is inside this package so this package dot this class is implemented now if this class is implemented we can call this function as well from the other file right so from the other file we are calling the same function uh, the uh, name is stored as obj we are creating an object and we are calling object dot display message so the display message inside that package which i had defined that will be called this message will be called in another file so this is how we declare a package and import a package and use it okay when you compile and run the output will be hello from my package demo okay importing a package just now i discussed the same thing you have to import a package and if you want to import all the classes which are present you'll be using star if you want to import only one single class which you want you'll be uh, specifying that name and uh, after any of these those two cases you'll be uh, able to access the um, functions inside that uh, particular class okay Moving on to the third moment question, we have demonstrated the working of nested try block. Okay, I, I explained you what is try block. In nested try block, what will happen? There will be a try block inside a try block. Okay, the theory part, you can go through it. In the class, we have nest try here. Okay, and uh, we are trying to define, uh, divide uh, 42 by A. Okay, and we are trying to print A here. And inside this, another class is there. Okay, first it will check if A is equal to A. Then uh, if A is equal to 1, then do this one else it uh, do this one so what uh, basically you don't have to write exactly as uh, it is you just have to write a try block here 
and inside try block write another try block okay whatever you want you can include it okay this is the nested uh, try block and write some theory part how it's working okay first it will go into the uh, uh, outer try block then it will come into the inner try block if it fails in the inner it will come to the else part like that you can uh, write from your own words okay and you can refer the theory part of this question as well okay build a program java program to uh, for a banking application to throw an exception if the person tries to withdraw the amount even though he or she has lesser than minimum balance so a person went to the bank the person has how much balance zero balance the person is a very poor person so he has a zero balance okay so he went and tried to access 100 rupees will the uh, bank will give 100 rupees no it's not possible so there will be an exception thrown how to uh, implement this using a software code now java program is banking application with custom exception okay Below is a Java program that implements a banking application where the custom exception, insufficient balance exception is thrown when a person tries to withdraw an amount exceeding the current balance. Current balance is zero and the uh, withdrawing amount here output is 100. Okay, so he will not get anything except an exception. So uh, here is how you will define a custom exception. Okay, custom exception means your own defined exception. In exam, they can ask user defined exception also. In, the, in that question also, I have tried the same answer here. Class insufficient balance exception, extend exception. You have to extend the exception class. And inside that, define your own function, insufficient balance exception. And a message will be shown here. And you will be writing super dot message. Okay, now class bank account. And you will be having two things, account holder name and balance. And and this is a uh, constructor defined with account holder name and balance it will be initialized first after that a function will be defined for withdraw and amount will be shown here and it throws an insufficient balance exception if the amount is greater than balance amount is uh, specified as 100 but the balance is zero so amount is greater than balance there should be an exception so an exception will be thrown throw new exception okay this is the thing you need to write throw new insufficient balance exception and this message will be thrown here and balance minus is equal to amount from the balance the amount will be deducted so it will become minus 100 and that message will be printed here okay and to deposit our money also it's different but is not important you can just write till this point here okay that is sufficient and uh, you can write this main function also okay static main function next is uh, the explain the ways levels of access pro protections available for packages and the implications with the suitable examples see not everything is accessible to everyone okay not everything is accessible to everyone there is different protection levels who can access what in java also it is the same thing okay so java provides four levels of access how many levels are there four levels which are those default which is private package private second is private third is protected and fourth is public what is the explanation for each of these with example let's have a look first one is the private accessible only within the same class inside the same class who are there they can only access the private functions okay so example is this you have to write class private example private in secret 42 inside a function you will be writing return secret okay now if you try to access it from here you will be able to uh, see an error why because it will be not able to access from the outside classes okay you are creating an object and accessing it will not be allowed inside the class only you can uh, access it okay accessible within the class error secret has private access okay next is uh, default package which is package private access within the same package in the same package there will be many classes in all those classes this will be accessible okay the function so we'll be defining the following uh, code here uh, class default example and in test default you will be showing obj.show message so it's since it's in the same package you will be able to print it okay next is protected protected will be accessed within the same package but not accessible uh, through the other unrelated unrelated classes inheritance classes also it is accepted in the previous one inheritance was not included here inheritance is also accepted so you just have to define a class with the inheritance here extending protected example and then you will be showing it okay so object that show will be allowed due to inheritance this is protected so we'll be using the keyword protected here okay the protected keyword will be used here to uh, implement this feature okay last is public public means everything can access outside the class also normal object can also be accessed this is mainly used in apis okay just define a class public example here and uh, import it into another class here and access it you'll be able to access because it is public uh, defined so it is uh, public here right so you'll be able to access it okay this is all for the uh, module 4 of java and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps me make more like this and don't miss any of this question thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one